Oh man, that's good, Scooby. My name is Bridget Caswell and I am a professional photographer. I really tell stories with my photos and I tend to gravitate towards taking photographs of people. I'm a firm believer of telling a story where you're at. And where she's at is Collinwood, a diverse, eclectic community northeast of downtown Cleveland. We have judges and artists and musicians and blue collar and you know police, firemen. It really is across the board. Um, but I think we pride ourselves in our sense of community. She's been an active presence in the neighborhood for 15 years, but during the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic, Bridget saw things change in Collinwood, as they did in neighborhoods across the world. At the beginning of the pandemic, everybody was trying to figure out how to adapt and live and survive. All of a sudden, you know, we all had to withdraw into our houses and you don't feel as connected. When the pandemic started, I was riding my bike through my neighborhood with my daughter and I heard one of my neighbors was playing her accordion. And as I drove and I got closer to the music, really I just had this moment where it clicked, where I realized that uh, I needed to be telling the story of how this pandemic was affecting our neighborhood. And so Bridget began taking porch portraits of her neighbors a trend that photographers embraced across the country during the pandemic. Families posed socially distant in front of their homes. She'd post them on her Instagram. There were hundreds of photographers going out and taking pictures outside, but to me it was really more about trying to help my neighborhood stay connected and feel seen. People were obviously a little scared. I mean, there's photos where you can see them so far away from people because we you know, didn't want to get anywhere close to each other. So uneasiness at first, but as the conversation would go on, you made me feel a bit more at ease and relaxed. And then as it went on, people were stopping me randomly on the street. Hey, can you come and take mine next? You know, no one knew what was going to happen. So I think the feeling was hope that this was going to get better sooner than than later, I guess, yeah. But as the year progressed, hope gave way to uncertainty as the pandemic proved to have staying power. This is such a unique period in our lifetime. And whenever I take a portrait of somebody, I connect with them. And so I was invested in their lives and I wanted to see on a personal level, but also as a storyteller, how that year had impacted their lives. And so she returned to her original subjects and created dual portraits separated by a year. They're compiled into a book she's called Homebody. Um, and this is a Zipper. Zipper was one of the people at the beginning of the pandemic that was making masks for everybody in the neighborhood. She was really, really great and thoughtful in making sure that people were protected or a community of different experiences. So we had joys, we had celebrations, we had tragic loss. So this is Jennifer and Stephen. Stephen uh, Bivens, he was a, an amazing photographer and uh, unfortunately he passed away in June of uh, 2020. Actually, this was the last photograph taken of uh, Stephen and his wife, Jennifer, together. Um, he passed away shortly after that. His presence is definitely missed. Homebody is also a gallery show, right in the community where it was created, at Collinwood's Photocentric. Bridget's photos are paired with painter Tim Callahan's pandemic work. His work also centers around the neighborhood, but with different subjects in mind. With the exception of a few of them, a lot of my images are void of, of humans, you know, of people. I, I think Bridget is certainly capturing the people of this neighborhood, where I'm focus more on the places. When Bridget and I first started talking about doing a show together, we kind of found out almost accidentally that we were looking at the same subject, this building over on Lakeshore, which we thought was very interesting that we were looking at the same subject almost at the same time. The circumstances of the pandemic, I think made a lot of artists look even closer into their kind of immediate environment in probably more intense way than they have in the past. 
Tim and I both were really on the same kind of journey where we thought it was really important to document our community. Abigail and Phil, they had just gotten married not too long before we did the first one. Um, and then the second one, they had finished graduate school and were starting to get on with their life, so now they're having a baby. What I hope that people take away from the gallery show and the book is the resilience of our community and how special Collinwood is. And I really want people to see that, that, uh, that we banded together. This is the last portrait in the book, uh, and that was intentional. Adrian and Tom, her brother, that's her and her brother in the first shot, um, he had Down syndrome, really amazing, kind man. Um, and he passed away just a few weeks before we did the follow-up portrait. Uh, his sister had taken care of him her whole life. That was a, a strange thing for people, is trying to figure out how to celebrate and how to honor your losses through the pandemic.